Dr. George Pratt is a clinical psychologist in private practice in La Jolla, California, and the author of several books. He is on staff and is past chairman of psychology at Scripps Memorial Hospital. He conducts seminars on the Big Island of Hawaii, which includes swimming with dolphins. George has been a three-time guest on Larry King Live. Dr. Pratt will discuss energy psychology, which is a blend of Western cognitive processes and Eastern healing methods. George, what, what is energy psychology? Well, Larry, I've been a traditionally trained psychologist. I've been around for quite a while, over 30 years, and I would say it's the most exciting advance I have seen in my clinical practice. It's really a combination of a Western cognitive or thought process along with some Eastern healing traditions and it's, it's an integrative uh, blend between the two. What's actually involved is for some manifestations of this actually using the acupressure system and there's some other ones you can use too but acupressure system is a very common one where you're actually stimulating different points on the acupressure system and that creates a profound change and actually a very rapid uh, time period. Basically, how does it work? We have two main opposing responses in our body. One is the fight, flight, or freeze response. The other one is the calming response. The fancy term for the calming response is parasympathetic. The one that gears us up is the sympathetic nervous system. And what happens is with the sympathetic nervous system, it actually diverts blood flow from the frontal part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, where we have judgment and logic, and it shunts it to the amygdala. So we start getting an escalation in uh, fear sensations. Percussion of these acupressure points is involved in a feedback loop to the brain where the amygdala is given new signals and it begins to calm. You know, it's interesting. It, it not only works with some of the factors that I was just mentioning, but it also includes the subconscious because we use imagery and that can activate certain changes. And what we also know about the subconscious is one neuron fires per second at a conscious level. One million neurons fire per second at a subconscious level. So with that degree of firepower, it's wonderful to include that as a tool in the big picture of energy psychology. Another exciting uh, development is we have lots more clinical trials that are happening right now. One of them is actually happening at Walter Reed Army Hospital. So the returning vets are having their post-traumatic stress disorders treated with energy psychology. And that's very exciting too. How can it be effective so, so quickly? Let me give you an example. In the Rwanda studies that came out last year, they had children that had lost their family in the genocides. And that one 60-minute treatment seemed to clear that degree of trauma and loss. And that that has persisted. Now, the kids were also taught to tap on their own. But that's pretty amazing with a brief intervention. So sometimes we can get a significant change in one session, not always. And sometimes it's permanent, not always. But it's a powerful tool to have. And it works nicely with other tools, too. It can make talk therapy more effective. If a person has a specific issue, you can actually go in, have them think of that issue, and calm them on the spot and clear the resistance. It's almost like it's an uncoupling of the emotion from the thought. So you can bring up the thought, you can bring up the memory, but without the emotional intensity. You know, it's not uncommon uh, in treating post-traumatic stress disorder that what would have taken, let's say, years or quite a number of sessions can be effectively resolved in three or less visits. In a nutshell, what Dr. Pratt does is he helps you to remove the negativity of things that may have happened to you in the past or have happened to you in the past. Uh, and that way you don't carry around the baggage of these uh, occurrences um, and it frees you to better experience the positive things in life. My emotions are calm, balanced, in perspective. I am solid. The, the internal dialogues that, that give the static are, are, are silenced 
and I'm able to have a clearer vision and uh, being able to move through my life and the process and everything more um, purposeful and directed. I feel light and I uh, just feel like it's possible I'm going to be okay. It just gives you hope. Why haven't we heard about it before? Well, actually, we have heard about it before. In traditional Chinese medicine, they talked about uh, the acupressure and acupuncture system. In yoga, we talk about chakras. So this has been mentioned quite a while. What we have now is we have new equipment where we can evaluate what's happening in the brain and the body, and that's very exciting. Functional magnetic resonance imaging scans have made a huge difference because we can see what is happening in the brain at the moment that something is being thought about and experienced. So this has really propelled uh, research into the area, so this is an exciting new uh, opportunity to see the world with a new paradigm. You know, in a way it's like modern science means ancient wisdom. And actually three of the top international trauma relief organizations use energy psychology techniques. So it's being used around the planet presently. Tell me about swimming with dolphins. It has been very exciting. I see some interesting changes in a very short period of time. Now I'm not claiming that swimming with dolphins is a treatment for mental disorders or profound stress, but it does seem to have an effect. Let me just mention a pilot study in the British uh, Medical Journal. They took individuals with mild to moderate depression. They separated them into a treatment and a control group. The, con the control group swam in a beautiful area the same number of hours, it was 10 hours, and which is nice anyway. But then they took mild to moderate depressed, swam in that same area, but interacting with dolphins for an hour a day for 10 days. And what happened is the people that were being treated for mild to moderate depression, the depression resolved. And on a three month follow up, they did not need further help. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced as well.